Monday and today we're going to continue on my series of videos uh, explaining to you how uh, my system for finishing better music faster. We've already done step one which was about knowing what you want from your music and knowing the best way to make better music which is to finish a lot of it. Step two was learning the skills of focus, not only the ones about cutting out distractions, but actually focusing on what is going to make your music better, not all that other stuff. Essentially, the, uh, that in a nutshell is everything that isn't actually finishing music is in essence procrastinating a distraction. And step three um, is today, which is about action and the best way to take it. You see, one of the um, mistakes I see a lot of people making all the time. In fact, I made it for a few years in my career and didn't finish a single thing for a couple of years. Um, one of the mistakes is that they think that in order to feel... Sorry, in, that's the wrong way around. In order to take action, they need to feel like taking action, that they need to, in some way to motivate themselves to take action. But it's actually the other way around. Action creates motivation. So essentially, um, I'm not really about motivation, I'm about action, because when you create action, when you act, you start to feel like acting. As a result, um, actually taking those first actions are always the most difficult um, and take the most willpower. But once you actually take the action on a, on a regular basis, it becomes a lot easier. And this is why um, I'm big on creating habits um, and harnessing habits. You see, habits make up about 40% of your daily actions. I mean, that's a, a, a rough idea. There was a study done by a psychologist, and I'm not quite sure how she worked it out, but she found that around 40%. It could be more, in fact. I mean, if you think about the very complicated action of driving a car, all of the different things you have to do, um, turn the key in the ignition, um, put the gears in, look around. You know, there's so many different things you need to do. But you can now, if you've been driving for any length of time, you can do, now do all of those things without even thinking about it, having a conversation, listening to music. You can even drive all the way on, on a, a long journey to somewhere you've been on many occasions without even remembering the journey at all. I'm sure that's happened to you. That's because it's become habitual. What happens is that you do something once and it's quite difficult. Um, um, it's like kind of, uh, it's the first time you've done it. So what you're doing is you're setting, um, you're making connections in your brain for the first time. Those com connections get stronger and thicker and more easy to travel the more you do something. As a result, they kind of get embedded into your, your brain and um, you don't have to think about them so, so much. You don't have to consciously think about taking those actions. This is why habits are so important. And habits essentially follow a three-part structure, trigger, behavior, and reward, which I can't go into fully now. But by harnessing this three-part structure, you can, in essence, create or change um, any habits you want. Well, strictly speaking, you're not exactly changing habits what you want. You are replacing them with other habits. And this is what I teach in month one of my program because it's so important. Almost before anything else, actually just getting into action and understanding how to create these habits is, is absolutely um, essential if you want to be as effective as you can be. Another mistake I see a lot of people making is they think that the my approach is something that is nice to add on to some other kind of learning approach in the sense of music production. They're, that they're like, well, I need to learn how to uh, produce music first, and then, once I've done that, maybe I'll learn all of this other kind of uh, woo-woo stuff, all, the, the, all of this uh, fluffy stuff. It's just an optional extra just to make me that a uh, little bit better. The problem is with this assumption is that, the, uh, is that the only tools that you need to learn to be really effective 
are music production tools uh, like compressors and uh, the DAW and etc. And the only skills you need to develop and learn are musical skills like how to write a melody, all that kind of thing. But by taking my approach, by learning, practicing, and developing the mental skills first, this allows you to learn, practice, develop the other stuff, all of those other tools, many times quicker and more effectively. And if you're already an expert in music production, if you really want to explode your creativity, productivity, and enjoyment in the studio, and really fulfill the potential you have, then why not learn to, most, learn to use the most important tool available to you, your brain. You see, the stuff, the, the approach that I take, and the stuff that, I, that, that I'm helping you with isn't taught in schools. That's because it's relatively new. It's, it's come about as a result of the last 10 years of uh, brain-based science, like uh, neuroscience and psychology. I'm not a, a scientist myself. I'm just a very keen observer amateur who applies, takes the stuff, applies it in my life, tries it on myself and see, see what works and what doesn't, and then uh, gives it to you. So this stuff isn't taught in schools. It's not something you already know. A lot of the things that we assume from the society around us have been proved to be plain wrong. There are better ways of doing things than you think there are. And the benefits that you get from, for instance, ha harnessing habits, is just one, one of the things I'm, I'm talking about, is that these tools work across the board. I've already touched on it by saying learning these things um, allows you to learn everything else much quicker. Well, if you understand how to create a habit, for instance, of learning, if you want to do a, a music production course, if you don't follow my advice and you want to do a music production course, which is absolutely fine, you might feel that is the best path for you. Everyone has to follow their own path. But if you learn about habits first, then you can learn this much more effectively, get into the habit of actually making the most of this music production course. Plus, and or, or if you don't want to do a music production course, you just want to produce music. Learning how habits work means that you can get into the daily habit of producing music. And you can quit the, stop, the things that stop you. Things like mindless TV watching, computer games, alcohol. Maybe not completely, but you can really cut them down by replacing them with something else. You can do the things that support you in making music. Start to do these things regularly, like exercise, meditation, good nutrition, all of those kind of things. And by doing, uh, creating regular habits, which you might not have now, you're not so reliant on being in a good mood when you sit down to make music or feeling inspired when you make music because you've always got tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day. Um, you don't have to employ willpower. Remember, the hardest thing you will ever have to do is to go from a state of being um, still or stuck, static, to a state of movement. That is the um, highest force you will have to apply at any time. Once you are in movement, it is much easier to keep going. This is why a daily habit, a daily practice is so powerful. Um, staying in constant motion takes a lot less energy than getting into mo motion. And the constant progress that you will notice from uh, this uh, daily practice or as often as you can is a constant source of that motivation. As I said before, I'm not about motivation, I'm about action because that is just motivation is a byproduct of that action. And if you think what I'm saying is just a, a, a nice theory, then I'm actually going to show, um, share with you a story from uh, the forum which proves that it isn't. Um, I'm actually going to do um, a case study interview with Richie um, soon, uh, in a couple of weeks. So we'll actually be able to learn more about this. I'll put this up on my YouTube uh, channel. But for now, here's what he wrote on the um, Make Music Your Life forum. Um, Hi, guys. A bit hard to sum up quickly. So here are some excerpts from an email I just sent Mike. On the 5th of February this year, I finally introduced myself on the forum. You replied on the 6th of February to spend 10 minutes a day in my studio turn my equipment on and sit there. I followed your advice and it has changed my life. 16 years of misery and procrastination is over. Over the past two and a half months, I have made six songs, 
my first ever songs produced completely by myself. In two of those songs, I've written my own lyrics and sung my own vocals. At this rate, that's 24 songs a year. That's six songs in less than three months versus zero songs by myself, one with assist assistance, over the past 16 years since I bought my first music computer system with the hope and desire of making my own music. Your simple advice to learn by doing has changed how I feel about myself, how I see myself, and what I believe is possible. I finally have the belief and confidence that I can make music by myself without anyone else's help, because that's exactly what I'm doing every single day. I've also started telling people I'm a music maker. I realize this happened because of a change in my identity and how I see myself. Thanks also to everyone who's part of your community. Your modules, I've done focus, habits, and decisions so far are helping me in other areas of my life too. So there you can see that Richie spent 16 years not finishing a sing single thing, and simply the first step he took, the first thing I asked him to do, because he, he said on the forum that he was stuck, was literally just to turn on the computer, turn on the DAW, and sit there for 10 minutes. Make that the habit. If you are completely stuck, then try this. It really, really works like a dream. Because you start sitting there, and you're like, well, maybe I might as well just do something. And you do that every single day, and that then you're in motion, and then everything becomes a lot easier. And even if you're not stuck, even if um, you're, you're doing quite well, you could always get better. If you think you don't, can't get better, then you are limiting yourself, as I said yesterday. So what I want you to do now, if you haven't already, is sign up for my uh, free training videos. I talk more about all of this stuff, go into uh, much more uh, depth about it. Uh, and tomorrow, we'll be uh, moving on to the next step of how to finish better music faster. And we'll be talking about uh, one of the most um, dangerous parts of the music production process, and that is uh, making decisions. So sign up for the free training videos, and I'll see you tomorrow. Just finish it already. It's good enough.